Hello there and welcome once again to The Outdoor Station with me, your host, Bob Cartwright. Right, what are we talking about today? Well, today I thought that we would take a look at these items you can see here on the screen, uh, which is the various options you might have to you at the moment for converting your walking pole into a basic monopod. Uh, which you might want to use with a small camera, a compact camera or a video camera, obviously with something which I do on a fairly uh, regular basis. Now the most interesting pictures are normally taken during the worst conditions, which is the reason why uh, it is useful to consider a monopod. So I'm just going to show you an example of uh, something I've been getting up to uh, during spring in Scotland. Spring in Scotland, don't you just love it? So let's uh, have a look at these in a little bit more detail. Um, so what I've got here, but I'll show you in, uh, in close-up in a second, is uh, five different options. We have the stick pick, which is a, a very lightweight, uh, simple attachment, which is ideal for very small cameras, uh, compact cameras, uh, which sits on the tip of the walking pole. We have the original Gorilla Pod, uh, which is a very flexible, useful little item, uh, quite lightweight as well, uh, with a removable head, the only one that we've got with a removable head, uh, and that uh, has, its, uh, has its benefits, but also a few limitations. Uh, the next one across the top there is the uh, Lecky Airgon pole, uh, walking pole adapter, which converts any uh, Lecky Airgon handle into one with a uh, camera fit fitting. Uh, then we have the bottom left, we have the Ultrapod, uh, which is a tripod and uh, a lash strap really uh, and it's the only one that we've got here which has a ball head on it and then we have uh, finally the last one there which is an old lecky pole that I've got knocking around uh, and I think a few other manufacturers make these these days with a simple removable handle at the um, a knob at the top of the handle rather uh, revealing a, a thread um, so what I'm going to do is go through these uh, in some uh, in some detail here uh, but first uh, let's have a look at um, what we would like really as a photographer or video person ideally on the end of the pole. I've got a couple of uh, professional uh, pieces of equipment here. This is a slick uh, ball head as they call with a quick removable plate. Now obviously that's quite large uh, and extremely heavy uh, and you know you'd use this with a tripod or with a, a professional uh, video uh, photographic camera tri um, monopod uh, because it's got a lot of weight to it and a lot of stability. Mm. But I wanted to show it to you uh, as it's a nice, big, juicy representation of what I would like to see somehow on the end of a walking pole. So you can release the ball head, so which allows you to tilt the camera or video camera in any direction you want. And then when you've finished with the, uh, the camera uh, on, the, on the walking pole, you've got a quick release plate. And that stays attached to the camera and goes in your pocket and that would stay on the walking pole. Now obviously that's far too big for practicals, uh, practicalities where we're talking about. But this is a, a very similar object from Novaflex. Uh, much smaller and lighter, but the principle is the same. It has a standard uh, camera thread there, can in focus, uh, at the bottom, and a camera thread at the top there, a locking nut and a ball head, and that would just flip over to the side to allow you to tilt the camera to um, whatever angle that you want. So that's what I would like to see uh, on a walking pole if I could. But the items that we're going to discuss uh, are here, so I thought we'd give a bit more of a demonstration, a bit more practical demonstration. Now the stick pick uh, is one uh, which is uh, very, very simple. It's only about, uh, I think it's about 13 or so grams. Let's go back to this camera here. So if you take the tip of a walking pole, you take the stick pick there, you screw that into the bottom of the camera. It has a uh, angle on the hole that's there 
and you uh, attach it as so, like so, to the tip of your walking pole. And uh, that's how a lot of the uh, video clips that I've done uh, has been using that and a small camera. Now it's worthwhile saying a couple of things here. First of all, it needs to be a small lightweight camera uh, because a heavier camera is uh, quite a precarious balanced on the end of the tip there. And also uh, it's needed uh, to be used really on a walking pole like this with a twig loss, twig, twist lock system or a flick lock system because um, you need the pole not to twist when you've got the camera on obviously. And finally, when you put the camera on, you have to loop the camera, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, not handle, but you know what I mean, loop. Safety loop, as it were, round the uh, tip of the pole so it, uh, it locks it in some way uh, because uh, it does come loose and occasionally the camera does fall off the end of the pole which uh, if it's an expensive camera is not something that anybody particularly wants obviously. So its benefits is uh, it's not particularly expensive, it's extremely light, very durable, very simple but uh, a bit precarious when the camera is a slightly larger um, and uh, more expensive item. Um, but very very good all the same. Now going back to uh, the set here, uh, the next one is the good old gorilla pod now this is a really great invention i think it came out about four or five years ago and it's a it's a simple tripod which allows you to wrap the uh, the uh, legs around a, an object a pole um, a uh, fence or whatever it might be let's go back to the other camera there look a bit closer and you can see that the legs are super flexible and uh, will allow the tripod to take any shape squat down low for obviously stability uh, and so on and so forth. Now um, one problem we have got here is the um, oh, one advantage first of all it's got a quick release head very very useful so that can stay attached uh, to the bottom of your camera and then clip onto there which is great but um, the time taken to wrap this round a walking pole should we say or a fence or whatever when the weather conditions are a bit iffy uh, to ensure that your precious camera is uh, protected is obviously um, uh, can be awkward when it's very cold and very windy uh, but something well worth considering. The other thing I've found with this though um, when you have a camera any bigger or heavier than one of these small little compact cameras um, I do find that the, um, the whole thing will flex and move fairly easily and so if you put it on the floor in a bit of a wind with a camera on it it has a tendency to blow over. Uh, but that's not taking anything away from it. A great little um, design, uh, quite useful, but uh, I prefer to use it uh, during uh, really nice weather, really, rather than the uh, miserable conditions that we uh, sometimes get. So going back to our little pile of goodies, what else do we have? Uh, we have, uh, let's look at this one first. This is the Ultrapod. Now the Ultrapod's quite a nifty design, and actually it's the only one that I've got here that has a ball head on it. So that allows the camera to be obviously screwed into the bottom of here, uh, twisted round, angled and so on to suit um, how you want to use it. Now I've used this quite often uh, with this particular camera and in fact some of the clips, in fact all the clips you saw in the previous piece were taken with this little Lumix video camera, uh, still camera, and I tend to leave the, the, the unit attached to the bottom of the camera and shove that in my pocket. Um, now it does mean it's a bit of a bulky item, even when it's reduced down, it's still quite a bulky item there and you've got to obviously have a big map pocket to, to put it in. But that's not taking away how, how useful it has been because this uh, Velcro tab here comes off fairly easily. There's a sort of a rubberized uh, grip element to it here and if you put that round the handle of a walking pole, this one for example, it grips fairly quickly and fairly well and you just have to lash it uh, with this velcro strap as quick as you can in the conditions uh, and obviously then you can adjust the camera and occasionally I've actually walked along with this connected like that with the camera on the end of the, uh, the, the fitting here um, and holding it like that uh, just so that I could grab the shots when I needed to rather than keep um, putting the camera in and out of my pocket. So. Pretty, pretty good. I've, I've, I've really um, found out this one to be quite practical for my uses and my needs. Um, so let's, uh, and it stashes away quite nicely as well. The other thing about the, the Velcro fitting is 
obviously with the jackets and modern fabrics we have these days, the Velcro does tend to catch on everything. So um, it really is uh, something to keep in a pocket away from everything else. Uh, now, going back to what we've got left. Right, we've got the Airgon adapter here, um, which is uh, the adapter to suit, um, not that bit, these bits, to suit the uh, Lecky Airgon poles. And I'm just going to show you how that all goes together. The Lecky Airgon uh, photo accessory kit for the handles consists of this little uh, pin pushing device, which I'll show you in a second, that pushes the pin out, creatively shaped in the shape of an aeroplane. Uh, a replacement cap, which has got the uh, camera um, attachment point flip up there in the top of the cap. That's where this screws into, uh, which has got the standard camera thread on the bottom, and a replacement pin. That's the complete set they provide you with. However, I found a little pair of pliers to be uh, the most useful item as well, uh, which I'll show you now as we actually do it for live. So I've got it in the um, microcarbon variable vario pole. Let's uh, first thing to do is take this pin out, and you do that by pushing down on the um, where are we? There we go. Pushing down on the pin like so. It's a very tight fit, as you might imagine. There you go, so that's pushed it through. Now, as I say, it's a tight fit to get that out. You're not going to pull that out with the, your fingers, so uh, hence the pliers. And that, that just pulls oops, that out. So uh, now the cap uh, flips off. There you get the attachment point there. Cap flips off here. Uh, obviously useful to have that back in there as well. Uh, the front here has got a little, uh, a little, uh, where are we? Uh, you can just see that little clip on it there. So that just sits on the receiving end here, like so. Let's just pop that back in properly as it should be. Uh, is that right? Let's have a look. That's it. So there, so that just sits in like that. It's very hard to do this and show it on camera at the same time. Pop those in. There like this. So that clips in there, you can see that, leaving the uh, pin that needs to go back in here like that. So uh, you can actually use the same pin that came out. There's no difference between the pins. I think it's just in case one breaks, to be honest. So you then sort of push that in as best you can. And that's obviously got to go all the way through. Very tight fit, and the easiest way I've found is to uh, put it down on the table and push it through like that. That's almost all the way through. So now we have the uh, top of the pole looking pretty normal, so you've still got the same grip, uh, but you can flip up the uh, camera section there, like so, and thread in the receiving part here, like so. And then that just gives you a chance to mount your camera on the top using the thread to tighten it up here. So let's just do that with a uh, camera there. And there you go. So you can adjust the camera. Now you've obviously got no tilt to the camera, but you do have uh, the camera locked on there. However, you are in a situation where you don't have a quick release uh, ability, so you'll have to physically screw it on and unscrew it each time. So that's the Airgon camera adapter for uh, all the lecky poles which have got the Airgon handles. The only one we haven't touched on, of course, is the uh, one with the uh, walking pole uh, at, that's fixed on the end of the walking pole. Uh, this one, for example. Uh, as I say, I I think a few people are making these. I think Mountain King make a design similar to this, and so does uh, so does Lecky. Uh, let's just get a bit closer. Um, and it's uh, yeah. I mean, I find it again. It's it's the, it's the threading and de-threading that's a problem. So you you know you're in high wind. You've had you undo the the thread. You obviously put the camera uh, on the end of the thread here, you lock it with this, but again you don't have the tilt ability. I suppose there's nothing stopping you actually putting something like this on, uh, and that could stay on there, but there's still no quick release uh, for the bottom of the camera, uh, unless you come across with a yet another attachment that goes on top of there, and your walking pole just starts getting heavier and heavier and heavier as you, as you need it. So that's the um, handful of examples I've got to, to talk about here. 
Um, if we look at uh, weight, for example, and to see um, the advantages and disadvantages there. As I say, the stick pick, uh, very affordable, uh, only 10 grams. Um, ideal for a small camera, um, slip on and off, but it's a fixed angle, so uh, you can only use it really for shooting yourself uh, and putting yourself in the picture, which is what it's designed for, fantastic little item. The Gorillapod, um, again, flexible, uh, great to have a quick release head, the only one that I can see that has got a quick release head, but if you've got a more sizable camera um, like this, uh, the Canon G10 here that I've got, which is a much weightier camera, uh, you'll need to go up the uh, range in the uh, Gorillapods and they then start getting bigger and bulkier and you've got to carry them, etc, etc. Um, but again, ideal little unit if you've got a small compact camera and you're liable to want to wrap it around um, something else. Then we have the, the Lecky adapter. As you just saw, that can easily be attached to the top of the walking pole uh, and then can stay that way really uh, until you want to use your camera. But it, once again, you are threading, uh, whenever you want to use the camera, you're threading it either into the walking pole or if it's, you've left it attached to the walking pole into the base of the camera again. Again, no quick release plate. Uh, then we have the Ultrapod, 49 grams, um, pretty flexible. I found this probably for my needs to be one of the most useful, um, certainly with uh, shooting video and wanting to put the camera down low, lock it off, uh, or to uh, attach it to a walking pole or to a fence pole or something. Um, but uh, again, no quick release and also pretty bulky when it's attached to the bottom of the camera uh, and it's in your pocket, but again, uh, pretty useful. And then finally, the zero grams. Well, if it's already attached to your walking pole, uh, you just need to obviously unscrew the top of the walking pole if, uh, if that's the type of style you're going for, and then uh, work out whether you put the camera straight on. Again, a fixed angle, or you buy a, a small ball head, like I showed you from the Novaflex, something like that, which would allow the camera to be flexed on the end, but of course then there's no quick release plate. So it's, uh, it's pretty confusing, really, uh, and the, the options are, um, are uh, sort of fairly limited, uh, but certainly I hope that's given you a bit of an idea about some of the things that are available to you. Uh, not taking away anything from each of them, they're all great little products, uh, but it gives you a bit more um, indication of some of the things open to you uh, in the future. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, come back to us soon. Bye for now.